it's another Saturday. Um, Saturday, as we all know, it is um, the day where we come up live um, and uh, share one or two things with the group. And um, I'm excited for today because today we are talking about something very, very different from what we've been talking about in the past few weeks. And um, I'm hoping that this is going to be like a series. Um, if you are new to the group, uh, you're welcome. Uh, we are really glad to have you um, in the group. And um, if you don't know yet, um, this is a single, um, this, this is this DLBC single group. And um, in this group, we focus on touching and impacting lives of singles people that are looking um, to transition into the next phase of their lives. And that includes um, area of relationship, um, area of finance, health, and even personal growth. And today we happen to be talking about um, the last uh, item I just mentioned. And we want to cover a very important topic, which is uh, very common with every single um, person out there. And even married people, it's, it's inclusive of, of everyone really. Um, and I'm hoping to tag this type of series called um, The Switch. Um, we are still working on the name for these things, but let's just go with that the switch so basically the switch is um it's a series that we're going to um be following to talk about uh, topics that relates to how you can make yourself better in the future um wherever you are right now um there are things that you can do to change your lives um and every one of us we are a work in progress right so with no further ado i just want to uh introduce myself again if you don't know me yet my name is david uh Awukoya, and i am one of the um admins on the dlbc singles group <laughs> i was about to say the name of another group i'm also <laughs> an executive well yes and i'm with sister princess today um <laughs> and um she's been throwing out a lot of bombs in terms of um, nuggets like helping out a lot of people that uh, ask as many questions uh, that relates to relationship so i don't know if you want to say something before we yeah yeah nice to so. see every one of you on another live always happy to connect no matter how busy we are today we're going to make it really short because we have it's a supercharged saturday so but i'm happy to <laughs> be part of this group to serve and um just to answer all your questions and hopefully to be much more helpful um as as we advance in the future and today this topic today is just self-development personal growth and let's let's jump with it all right all right um well, to me today, I just see today as like a a session where we are just talking just very casual, and I'm just seeing this as like imagining my friend um, talking to me, and then I'm sharing what I've learned and what we've learned, um, going from where we were to where we are right now. Um, personally, I've grown a lot in the last. Um, 12 months I've seen tremendous improvement in my uh, mindset I've seen a lot of improvement in my um, income as well and as well as my uh, my health so I'm just looking to share a few things and today uh, I just want us to cover like um, four pillars of personal growth um, these four pillars, if if you apply them, um, if you apply most of them, there's a good 
chance that you will see that your future is going to be tremendously changed, right? So um, number one thing I realized that has changed for me for the last 12 months is how I think about um, life in general. Uh, before, before now, like 12 months ago, when things happen to me, I tend to react to things um, mostly in a very um, uh, reactional way, like panicking and all that. So, but now um, I try to be more um, proactive. Um, and I realized that I learned this from um, studying a lot of different people from friends around that I know that have been <clears throat> enjoying success for a while and also from a few mentors and some courses I've taken, um, I realized that having a winning mindset, uh, it really changed your perspective about your goals and your future. And um, for me, I believe that when you have a, a mind that is very focused on um, seeing everything as figurable, like you can figure out things no matter how difficult it is, you can still figure it out. If somebody else has done it, you too can do it. Those people don't have two heads, right? And um, particularly, I just want to tell a small brief story. Um, I ventured into freelancing um, about last year, like full time. And um, it felt quite difficult when I was starting because like I'm still new, I'm still trying to figure out how things work. And, but just for the fact that I knew people that were making progress uh, in what I was doing, yeah. it opened up my mind to the possibility of me also being able to um, get some success from the pie right and that helped me a lot because it helped me to start it changed the way i speak to clients it changed the way i uh, sell myself it changed the way i started um looking at my future right and then, and then i started having a much more solution focused mindset rather than looking at oh, these are the challenges. Like, because I face a lot of challenges, like <laughs> going from um, uh, legal challenges, like for example, I'm living in UAE and for people that know <laughs> the the drama over here, like visa is a issue and a lot of things, right? So all those challenges exist and it still exists, but the thing is what, am I going to do about it? And what am I doing about it? So that's what really matters. Um, I don't know, Sister Princess, do you have anything to to add to that? Yeah, well. About mindset. That, yeah, generally in life, I believe that, uh, like the Bible said, a man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of evil. Like the world is full of evil. There are good days, there are bad days, there are uh, days that is up and there are days when you, your expectations are not met, right? Even if, I mean, trust me, sometimes we always believe that if I get to a certain level in my life, then everything will just be okay. Um, but life is laced with challenges. There are, um, at every stage in your life, there's always a challenge for that stage. So um, it's how you deal with your challenges that matters. It's how you face your challenges. Like some people would um, maybe hide or flee or run or break. You know, people handle challenges differently. But those who are eventually going to win uh, are those who face the challenge headlong and those who face it with a positive mindset, who believe that whatever I'm going through right now is just a phase and it's, it's, it's um, transitory. So I'm going to transit out of it. I'm just going through it right now. I have 
loads of stories that I'm going to share as we get to know each other on this space. I have a lot of stories that I'll share with you and you'll be shocked that, ah, so you've gone through this too, right? But I am here still in the fight, still going on, still aspiring for better, still aspiring to be more useful to my world. Um, just because I believe that that's always something good out of every cloud, every um, tornado, every you know wind that blows, there's always something positive. So every day my mission is just to make sure that I'm growing with the flow and my challenges are making me better than I was before and that I'm going towards my purpose or my dream that, you know, that, that I've had at the onset. Yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, thanks for that. And uh, that's just um, nails what I was just trying to say. And uh, I just wanted to add to that. Um, I just wanted to share one story. Um, so yesterday I had a meeting with my clients and we were just talking about life generally and everybody was just sharing different stories. And then <clears throat> this guy from Ukraine <laughs> started talking about his side of the story as we know what's happening in Ukraine with the war and everything. And he sh he was talking about how difficult it is for for him and his team to work like they moved from their normal location and that was a time where they were working and then <laughs> that was a bomb blast <laughs> oh my god that was a bomb blast and power outrage and all that and i'm like wow i am crying about my problem while there's another person here still coming to meetings and working in the midst of um the war you know like yeah so i was like hmm you know what every single human being has a problem and has a challenge or the other just because somebody is smiling and happy does not mean that or somebody's at the top does not mean that they are not facing something right mm -hmm. so um and that's the mindset of a winner like if it's if it's somebody that is not um, future oriented like this guy is in the team he's smiling and everything yet <laughs> not everybody knows that he's facing all those issues right while he's still showing up with the energy doing his work the way he's supposed to do and um that just shows that he is really really um somebody that is uh, hard working and focused on where he's going as a human being so that's one um one of the pillars of supercharging your your uh, your future and um also another thing is learning i realize that the more i learn the more i earn right um every time i learn a new skill like for example i i used to be a graphic designer social media manager but I started learning um, UX design. And when I got good at UX design, I started getting paid like way better, <laughs> you know? So, and now my goal is even to learn something else that even pays even way more better. So a learning mindset is very, very key to supercharging your future. You never know what's going to help you tomorrow, right? Whatever you're learning today is like a seed into your future you don't need to wait until everything is perfect mm -hmm. um sister princess you know we've been figuring out a lot of things yeah. in the background <laughs> we've been trying out a lot of things <laughs> we've been failing a lot but <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day there are a few wins that we've been enjoying right so that's another key um important mindset to have I don't know if you want to add to that. Yeah, I just wanted to add that don't be afraid to fail. <clears throat> if you're afraid to fail, you never try anything. So um, you have to try. Because if you do not try, you wouldn't know if you can make it or if you're going to fail. Okay? Like 
very recently I took a course on skincare formulation, formulation and I was scared of trying emulsion. Anybody who has done skincare formulation, they know that emulsions are like the hardest because many times it fails because you emulsify your product and sometimes for some reason, whatever it is, it just falls apart and it fails. So, but I had a, a study buddy and she would always say, try, try, try. Why don't you try? It's good to try. You learn by failing sometimes. You fail sometimes and then you learn and then you get better at it. And I was always scared of trying. I was always scared of trying. I don't know why. I just had this, oh my God, what am I going to mix? How am I going to mix it? What if it gets worse? What if it gets bad? What ifs? I just dwelled in this what ifs. Not knowing hmm. that. I just needed to try to see if, if my hands were good. What if it works? And so I just decided, you know what? Let me try this thing. So I tried it. I emulsified my product. Can you believe that the next day, 24 hours later, 48 hours later, my, my formulation did not separate. It, it was just perfect. I wrote, and I'm like, what? Wow. <laughs> you know, I know how to do... I, and it I know feels to good. Air borders. I know how to make like, like little, little things like maybe... Um, a, a hair shampoo that's very natural. That was, that's like a little bit easy, but that emulsion, emulsifying a product, mixing oil and water together, it was just something I just couldn't figure out. And I tried it and it worked. And I, I rubbed it on my skin and it was so nice. I was like, wow, why am I sharing this? I'm just sharing this to tell you that don't be afraid to fail. Try things. If you sit there and you're, you're afraid and you're scared and you're not trying, you wouldn't know how much of a genius you are until you try. Mm. So whatever it is that you are, you think that will make your life better, get out of your comfort zone and try. So all those people that you see online doing things, you know, on impact program, like for those who, who are in deep life, for in, on impact program, they, you know, they are, they are showcasing the skills of some people and you're like wow this guy and he they share their testimony they say that okay they've gone from this to that and they're making this much money and this company called them google called them facebook called them they're working here they're working there you know these big organizations that you look at up there and you're like wow 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 these people didn't they, they didn't fall from wherever it is and become what they are they tried it they, it's a journey just look at life like a journey. I'll get where yep. I'm going to, but I have to travel. I have to be willing to go on this journey, this learning journey, this uh, growth journey. So you have to open yourself, make yourself available. Another thing that many people don't do is that they don't show up. You have to show up. If there is anything that you know, it's going to make you better. It's going to make you, like maybe you're starting a business. And you don't show up for your business. You're not advertising. You're not talking about your business. Then it's a recipe for failure. You have to show up, whether on a good day or on a bad day. The Bible say, be constant, be instant in season and out of season. And out well, of season. About, it's talking about preaching, right? But we can apply it to our everyday life. You have to be instant. You have to be ready. You have to be like a soldier, a scout boy, a boy scout, always ready ready to show your brand, ready to show what you can do, ready with your CV, your resume, ready with your cover letters, ready with your business proposal, you, whatever it is, you have to always show up ready. You always have to have your tools in place. You never mm -hmm. go out without your tools. Whatever you need to make you what you ought to be, always have it in your hand and always have that positive mindset because positivity oozes out of a person. If you are posit positive, it oozes out of you. If you are negative, it will all show all over you. You'll be morose, moron, and sad, and drawn, <laughs> and what have you. But if you are a positive person, you will smile through your challenge. You will smile through your, your hardship. And people like to be attracted to happy people, right? People want to be attracted yep. to happy people. So 100. your happiness, your positivity will radiate. Okay, so that's yeah. just the little piece that, that I want to add to, to this um, uh, preparation for your future and preparation, or maybe you are already where you want to be and where you want to get better. Those are some of the things that you should, you should keep in mind. I mean, you, you said it very well. I mean, like, um, and the last thing uh, you said about preparation is you need to have the right tools. 
And one thing about um, trying to make your future better is if you take the right tools with you, it makes your um, progress a little more shorter. Like, like it make it faster. Like you don't need to spend so much time um, to get to where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there are a, few, a couple of things or tools or resources that you can use mm -hmm. to help you to supercharge your future really fast. And number one is um, books. When you start reading books, books in itself has many, many benefits. But for me, I believe that um, when you read books, it helps you to think better, yeah. like you reading the thoughts of somebody else uh, it creates this um, spark of creativity into your mind and it opens, opens up your mind to um, different types of possibilities that you never thought was um, possible before yeah. and also books allows you to to learn about the failures and the uh, um, success of what other people have done or not done yeah. books for some people is a tool to learn something new uh -huh. right um also another tool you can use is courses you can take courses like maybe you want to transition your career from being a <clears throat> an engineer to being a um perhaps a safety officer you can take courses <clears throat> or you can maybe you want to become a programmer for example you know how tech is becoming the main thing these days yeah. um boot camps are very good for people that are interested in transitioning into tech because boot camps will force you to learn very very fast mm -hmm. <laughs> like you don't have time to to play around they give you deadlines they give you uh tack 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 okay. this is what you need to learn this is what you need to to produce to take you to the next level. If you don't do it, you're out. Yeah. And that forces you to, to really act fast and it forces you to learn quick because also the people that you're, you're doing a bootcamp with, your peers, they will teach you things that you never thought about. In a very, very short period of time, you, you're exposed to many, many things. And another advantage of bootcamps is that they help you to also get a job in a very, very high um, paying company. Right. So consider boot camps. Maybe if you're into tech. If you're not into tech, you're into medical. Um, they have internship that you can try as well. Um, that can help. And also another key one is mentorship. Like if you can find if you're privileged enough to have a mentor in your corner, of course this is very difficult. Nobody has the time to offer to one person alone, but a mentor will help you to answer your question real quick. You don't need to Google, you know, you can get uh, your answers real quick. Like for example, for me, I had a couple of mentors when I was transitioning from corporate world to freelancing world. Um, um, I had my brother that was already in it for about two years. So, and his friends, which they were all in it already. They, they, they show me the ropes, like, any question I had, I just asked them. I don't need to Google it. I don't need to YouTube it. You know, it was really fast. So um, those are the tools that I feel like you, it will help a lot of people. Maybe your own is craftsmanship. You want to go, you want to become a business person. Uh, go and learn from somebody that is already doing it, right? So that um, you can make your, your, your growth like, faster yeah. you don't need to um take the long part and try out many things that some will work some will not work <laughs> you know yeah. so <clears throat> yeah. can i move on to the next one yeah so pillar number three we talked about two pillars now we said mindset is pillar number one pillar number two is having the right tools yeah. right we talked about the tools now pillar number th three is action right action deliberate action if you are able to take consistent we talked about it already a little bit but in this um 
in this uh, pillar, we, we are talking about a uh, very deliberate action. You need to plan out your six months. What do you want to do in the next six months? Um, when you know what you want to do in the next six months, you need to break it down into chunks, like smaller bits. Uh, month one, what do I need to achieve by month one? Or even weekly. I realized that when I started um, putting goals for my uh, freelance um, uh, income, I started hitting <laughs> the targets. Yeah. I, I told myself, okay, by month two, I want to be able to have this much. Uh, so I break it down into weeks. Week one, I want to be able to be earning this amount. Week one. Um, and also, I another thing that you, you need to know is don't be over ambitious. Assess yourself first. Know where you are at. And don't give a goal that is like almost impossible. Break it down and make it practical. If you are starting something new, you shouldn't give a goal of somebody that is already flying when you are still in baby steps <laughs> you should break it down into like okay i want to be able to start crawling by this week yeah. next week i want to start trying to stand and fall yeah. that should be your goal uh, you are a lady you're trying to start a hair business your goal is not that oh i want to start making uh maybe thousand dollars by the end of the month no your goal is how do i start getting products that i'm going to sell how do i um deliver my products to the customer how do i market it you need to start figuring out your channels you need to start figuring out figuring out the foundations of your ultimate goal right and then when you are able to do that be consistent in showing up like Sister Princess said, show up, show up, and show up, and the magic of the the magic of compound action will take effect, right? You will see that you, the little little action you make, yeah, it will yield into a massive result. Yeah. If you are sleeping, 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 in the grand scheme of things, it will look like you are sleeping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to use this tracking app like when I started my fitness journey. Um, and I made sure that every day I'm following that app. I realized that when I look at the app at the end of the month, I say, wow, I've done this much. And when I look at the results, I'm like, wow, okay, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. <laughs> right? So yeah. that's how it works with consistency. And then last but not the least, um, in taking action is adaptation sometimes you take action massive action but the results you're getting is negative <laughs> right um that does not mean that you are you are a failure it's just you're just getting data right once you get data step back analyze what am i doing wrong speak to your mentors check with um people that have already done it let them look at what you're doing and see what you're doing wrong to help you to adapt, right? You are not changing your ultimate goal, but you're adapting your course of action so that um, you can eventually reach that ultimate goal, right? And sometimes maybe your goal is even completely wrong. You need to change. <laughs> you need to change your goal, right? So um, always take a step back and assess what you're doing maybe after some couple of actions and see am i in the right direction or i need to do a u-turn yeah. it's not by force that you keep going 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 and the results you are getting is not it's not what you really want in the end um i don't know if you want to add anything to that yeah well before we get to the next one yeah well we're, we're trying to I mean, I, I know that you were very brief. We're trying to be very brief today. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so the takeaway here is just to start. Yeah, start yes. and assess your journey as you go. Okay. Yes. And the last step in this whole thing is um, the fourth pillar is support system. Having the right support system will help you as well because there are days where 
oh my god i just don't want to work <laughs> you know or i just don't want to show up right or you are trying 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 but it looks like you're just wasting your time that is the perfect time to check in with your tribe you need to find a group of people that will you know strengthen you and reassure you that oh dude girl you're on the right path yeah. right you still can do it it's just a hiccup it's just a bump in the road right so you need to always find the right people if you want to go into a business try to find people that are also thinking about business mm -hmm. if you want to um change it in new jobs start associating with yourself with people that are more career oriented yeah. right also um the thing with business is for example you need money right so it's good to also have people that can support you in that sense like that can um support your dreams and support uh the business that you're trying to build and just an aside very soon we are going to be um launching a little program that will be focused on empowering women that are trying to get off a business from scratch and we'll give more details about this we are just trying to look at how can we support the community to um, grow so stay tuned for that uh we'll be announcing a bit more about that so women if you think you have an idea that you think that will help you to launch your business start thinking about it and we'll give you the opportunity to pitch your idea and perhaps we will find a way to help you to launch it um we are out of time <laughs> I don't know if you have anything else to add. Yeah, well, I I don't think we want to stay too long. We just um put a put come to a close with this uh, by saying that um continue to and imagine the future that you desire, and once you keep imagining it, it will help your drive towards getting to your future. You can be anything you want to be. You can be that girl from that small town, that small town girl that's known all over the world or that has done something great to impact her world. You can be that young unknown boy or man or young man who has something great. You can be the next Newton of, of our days. You can be the next Elon Musk of our days. They just need to keep trying. So while you're in the trenches, trying your best, don't allow discouragement to take over you and stop you in your tracks, but keep going. Keep looking at your goal. Put a picture of your goal or a calendar of where you want to be and put it in front of you. Have it in front of you every morning when you wake up, you look at it and you say, this is where I'm going. And that will keep you going in spite of whatever it is that's going on with your life. Every time you look at your goal, it will keep your drive. It will keep you actively pursuing it until you get there. And I really wish you all the best. See you at the top. I know there are, there are great talents coming out of this, this group, this page. You know, And don't forget to share this video. Please share it. This might help somebody who is almost training the tower. Share this video with your friends, share it with your family members, share it with your acquaintances, share it with in your neighborhood, among people, young people like you. Share, 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 and let people get to know that um, they can be whatever they want to be and let them be encouraged, uh, just like you are. I mean, subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, get ready for that um, project that we have for ladies who have uh, something in mind, like creative minds. We're going to help you to um, to start up your business yeah right? by the grace of god no <laughs> yeah. yes and well it's been a pleasure um talking and connecting with you this saturday and i'll just say welcome to the switch <laughs> thank you and All right. see you see you